Hey everyone, it's Deacon082. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we met Absol, who wants us to take charge and stop these natural disasters from happening. He sensed the terrible power of the natural calamities. He was led here by his feelings of foreboding. He thinks it would be best if we combine forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really? To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol. And this is the entire reason why you can't bring another Pokemon into the fugitive part of the storyline, because you have to get Absol. And because you cannot enter a dungeon with four Pokemon, the game will get confused, so... We have Absol on our team, and we head further north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. And now we get to save. Um, we got Absol, and Absol is actually um, a pretty decent Pokemon, and pretty balanced for when you get him in the game, unlike uh, some of the later games in the series. We've walked a long way. We still haven't eaten in three weeks. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? <laughs> this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, hey, hey Zippo, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that's empty except for us. I have this feeling there's nothing ahead of here even if we keep moving. And I'm getting exhausted. What's going to happen to us? I, I, I don't know, to be honest. I'm sorry, I said something stupid to frighten you. There isn't any point in wondering about what might happen, not after coming this far. Even though we don't know what's ahead, we'll only know by pressing on. Wow, people can change so fast. <laughs> I have faith in you, Zippo, that's what brought me here. And that's not changing. I still have faith in you. I'll keep going wherever you go. You're in the lead. I could stop here. Would that mean you would stop? If I jumped off the top of, of that cliff uh, in the Frosty Forest Grotto, would you follow me? That was a stupid question. I'm sure he would. <laughs> what is this? Is that like an alarm siren? Or is that us dying from hunger? No idea what's going on. Finally, finally you have arrived. Someone, someone is talking to me. Sparky, no, no, this voice isn't Sparky. So I'm daydreaming slash hallucinating from uh, dizziness, uh, hunger, lack of sleep, um, lack of water. Finally, you have arrived. And it's Gardevoir again, so this really is a dream again. I've been waiting for you. Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally we get to meet. You're... what? What? <laughs> Zippo, is something the matter? Who are you talking to? Why are you talking to yourself but looking over there? There's clearly nothing there. I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. I'm a figment of your mind. A little farther ahead, there's a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Okay, this doesn't make sense to me. I mentioned last episode Articuno gets stuck in a forest. Well, there is a Mount Freeze. Why not just put Articuno at the top to be consistent? Anyway, inside its peak, we get Nine Tails instead of Articuno. Why would Nine Tails be on the top of a frozen mountain? Maybe keeping it warm. Maybe he is the cause of all the warming going on. I guess we'll never know until we get there. So Gardevoir appeared to us after we told Sparky what happened. And so Ninetales really exists and is up at the peak. So we finally have something to strive for. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. And we get, um, like, this isn't even a question we should be responding to. I'll just say the first one. Listen, Zippo, don't be so worried. It'll be alright. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Ninetales, Zippo. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. It, it may be you, 
I can understand how you can think that. That's impossible. You're not that human. How can, how can you say that? You don't know anything about me as a human. Even I don't know about me as a human. But it's alright. Zippo, you're a really good kind of person. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Zippo. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. It is strange, isn't it? But Zippo, I believe in you. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Zippo, let's do our best. So, going into storage once again. Um, I don't think we need all of these. Let's get some actually useful items here. Um, power band... I don't know what Absol's moves are. Can we check? Oops, I thought I stored those. Um, we don't need a plane seed, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna replace this apple with a big apple. Can we see Absol's moves? Scratch, leer, taunt, quick attack. Okay, so I'll give him a power band. For now. And we need, uh, Orin berries. We need another Matt's elixir, and we need a big apple. 